Jim, thank you for sending in your sample material. I received in uh, your, your photo material as well as um, your magnet material. Now both of these applications will work just fine on our Clicker 700 press and on our Clicker 1500 press. I'm going to demonstrate the uh, press being used with a .937 high steel rule die. Um, with This is a die mounted in wood, has ejection foam in it to kick the materials out. You would inquire on registration. The way registration is achieved with a die like this is with retractable registration pins. Um, you can put these pins in the board and then you butt your material up against the pins and that's how you uh, work with alignment. Now this, this is obviously just a simple square, you know, it's not representative of what you guys are trying to do, but, but again, this will show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to take the die, I will put the die on the bottom plate up. I'll take, um, first I'll just cut one of your, your, um, your uh, magnets <coughs> to show you how that works. Now, I don't have any dies really small enough to to uh, cut out, you know, an actual shape, but I'll show you how it works anyhow. So as you can see, the material cuts just fine, gives you a nice clean cut, clean edge, and so forth. Um, I'll do another one just to show you again how that works. Put the uh, magnet on top of the uh, die, slide it in, click it out, and again we get a nice clean cut. Now with the photos, uh, basically works the exact same way, and you know, like I say, you could you know, align your material by butting up against uh, your alignment pins. Just set this on top of the die, slide it in, click it out. So you can see it works very quick and you'll be able to do a cycle between loading, cutting, unloading. I think you could probably do you know, seven cycles a minute. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate our Clicker 1500 press and this press works identical. It just allows you to cut twice as many linear inches. This press will cut up to 60 linear inches of pattern well, this press will cut up to 120 linear inches of pattern. So I put the cutting board on the top. Again, that's just a sacrificial surface that you cut against. You can also actually mount that board on the top. There are mounting holes on all four corners of the press. Now I'm going to demonstrate this time using a same type of die. This die just mounted in acrylic as opposed to wood. It has ejection foam in it. Again, it's a, a, a .937 high steel rule die. I'll take the die. I'll put it on the bottom. You now in this case there are no registration pins. You would simply just put registration pins into the die. I will slide it in. Click it. And you'll see we get three nice clean cuts. So I'll package these up. I'll label them respectively. And we'll just go from there. I will send this video link over to you and I will give you a call to discuss. Thank you.